When you talk about agribusiness, it's simple, Pesa Mfukoni. How can you be able to have money from your farm in the most professional way? So it's the whole value chain of converting farm produce into money. Noah Nasiali has been a farmer for more than 15 years. He has now taken up the mantle to teach Kenyan farmers what he knows and keep them up to speed with the latest farming practices and how best to tap into agribusiness. He says the first step is knowing your craft well as a farmer. So we start with testing the soil because that is the beginning. You want to know what, what does my soil have? What nutrients does my soil have? What, uh, because doing the soil test then what happens is that it tells you what fertilizer to use, what quantity of fertilizer to use, and most importantly, what yield would you be able to get with the soil that you have. The agricultural sector has been termed as the backbone of the economy, contributing approximately 33% of Kenya's gross domestic product GDP. However, majority of the farmers are still doing subsistence farming compared to agribusiness. Alexander Owino, an economist, says for Kenyan farmers to thrive as well as the sector, the government as well as financial institutions need first to honour their commitment to allocate more to the sector. Unfortunately, across the world, agriculture requires a lot of public investment. And that is lacking in Kenya. I'll give you a number, 3%. That is the proportion of our budget spent on agriculture. Kenya committed to spending 10% in Maputo, the Maputo Declaration. If we see a return of that directed credit to the sector, then the sector will have the money to be able to get the smallholder farmer a, to afford inputs, B, to afford extension services. Over the years, more Kenyans have been investing in the sector. According to Noah, farmers need to equally invest in knowledge of production before planting their crops. Some of us are hype farmers. We all started there. I started with watermelon and I remember I was told that if you use 40,000 shillings, you'll get 400,000 in three months. I didn't get even my 40,000, <laughs> even the cost of seed. Because the way this farmer does their own thing is very different. But that is now the gap that can be filled with proper extension services. Because we can say Kitengela, there's one broadcast that has gone out that says there'll be rain on this day. So prepare if you are fertilizer, if you need spraying, if you need this, to be able to be ready. One of the main factors in agriculture is market access. Despite the competitive market in the country, experts advise that it is key for farmers to understand their market before they even harvest. If you're growing tomatoes, how many people around your farm or around the markets around you know that you're growing tomatoes? So you have to start talking about your tomatoes and even go to the market, tell them I have tomatoes, we'll be ready in this time. You cannot make millions, millions from farming. You cannot. You can only make millions from converting that farm into an agri-enterprise. When I talk about agri-enterprise, I mean things like, how do you reduce your costs? And reducing your costs comes with, how can you use less labor? How can you use the best advice? How can you yourself be part of what is going on? Thanks to technology, farming has become easier. However, there are factors that need to be addressed by government to make the agriculture business environment accommodative. Farming now becoming very high tech, whether it's smallholder irrigation, whether it's uh, crop spacing, knowing when to plant and what to plant. All those require extension services. And now we have something called e-extension services. The farmer does not need to have a physical person in a motorbike coming to see them. They can actually be given those services remotely. The farmer on his own cannot fix the road. The farmer on his own cannot fix rain-fed agriculture because that is one of the biggest risks they face. The rains will fail or the rains will be too much. You may flood my little potato patch or my little carrot patch in Lakeipia. Those things are outside the farmer's hands.